Hi DCPS 11th graders, my name is Josie Malone and I'm a member of the DCPS Secondary ELA team here today to introduce you to week 6 and 7 distance learning plan, the brief overview and introduction video. As you likely know, grade 11's theme in ELA is innocence, consciousness, and response. And unit 4 has all been about responding to a call to action. Throughout this unit, you've been reading texts that relate to this topic and questions like how do leaders organize people and create social movements? What are the lasting impacts of social actions like the great boycott? And how can I address an issue important to me through social action? This format should be familiar to you because each unit has followed the same structure. This is an intentional decision because it's a approach to close reading and writing by first starting with understanding the text, secondly moving on to summarizing, and then interpreting. So you're con like consistently going through this process of gathering evidence, thinking about what the text is saying, unpacking the text, making your own meaning, and then writing in response to a question that is the culminating question for the unit. In week six, your culminating question will be, how did Mexican Americans challenge and change issues in their communities? You'll cite and explain evidence from two or more texts. So there are two texts that you'll read as well as a video that you'll engage with in this week's work. You can dig more deeply into week six, uh, the document that looks like this in your learning plan for the week. This and other videos are available on the DCPS YouTube page to help you engage more deeply with the text and topics. In week seven, you will engage with the close reading process one more time with um, another text set, including a song and video by Beyonce that deals with social activism. At the end of the week, you'll answer the question, how do artists respond in socially active ways? You'll cite evidence and explain your evidence in your response. You can see more about what you'll be doing each day in the distance learning plan overview. And finally, we just wanted, wanted you to know that we are so proud of your hard work, who you are, and who you're becoming through the study of language and responses to political, social, and economic conflicts. Thank you so much for your hard work, and we look forward to hearing about your learning soon.